Welcome back to another bite-sized segment of Locals Only. We are going to start things off at the Omelette House. But be warned, omelets are just one of the many incredible things that this place offers. They got burgers, fried zucchini, and some of the best banana bread I have ever had. So let's get things started in a big way with the Omelette House. Kevin, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Good job. Good job. Thank you for having us right. in today. Clearly we got some things going on here. Can you, can you talk us through it? Well, my partner's been uh, doing the food business for his whole career, and, and uh, in the 70s, he had a very famous uh, bar restaurant here called Alias Smith & Jones, and they developed that um, particular kind of fried zucchini, and it's carried over, and if you want that, you got to come here. Really? Really? And uh, this is the, uh, the kitchen sink omelet. <laughs> they're, they're all six egg omelets, but that's a little bit larger and more ridiculous than the other ones there because it's got more ingredients in it. We go through about uh, 1,400 eggs a day here. Yeah. <laughs> and talking about you know the start of it all, how long have you been uh, running Omelet House? Since 1990, actively, my partner's brother ran it into the ground with a, just a small gambling problem in, in the uh, 80s, and, and uh, yeah, I heard of yeah, yeah, one figure, huh? And I got a call from from uh, you know my stepfather, who was a primary investor in here, and he said, "Geez, it's bankrupt, but nobody told the customers they're still coming in. Would you like to come and try to turn it around?" And I don't know what else he said, because I put the phone down and started packing, you know. Really? And I, I, I mean, because Las Vegas is my home, yeah. and, and, you know, work for a big hotel 60 hours a week, or work for yourself. Yeah. So not, not a real choice, you know, so. Kevin, this looks like an <laughs> unbelievable bacon cheeseburger at the Omelette House. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we try to do everything big. You know, that's a half-pound hand-formed burger, and we don't want anybody going away hungry. No, yeah. This is where it's at. And there's a crab no. Benedict coming crab at you, Benedict. or no, lobster Benedict. Sorry, lobster Benedict. We have five different uh, Benedicts. We don't do the little um, uh, Canadian bacon with the uh, rubber band around the edge there. We, we've got the uh, the best Cure 81 hand. We slice six ounces on under there, you know. The philosophy that I subscribe to is that I, I won't serve anything that I wouldn't serve to my family. And this is how I would do it if I was doing it at home for my right. you know, family. And these look like homemade potato chips. We slice those fresh every morning. Gosh, I know more about potatoes than I ever wanted to know. You know? <laughs> so many things affect the quality of the potatoes, and, and uh, I just want a good, consistent product, and it's so hard to do with a commodity that changes with the seasons and, and being in storage for a year and stuff like that. Wow. Kevin, we're going to eat this food, we're going to talk about it, and then uh, we'll be sure to see you before we, we head out of here. And Thank you so much for having us. This has been a, a, a true joy to come and see such a, a well-run family place. Vegas institution, for sure. Kevin was simply too nice. He made us feel so much at home at Omelet House that we ordered enough food to feed a village. Man, a kitchen sink, I can't imagine what's not in here. Oh, that just made a nice noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's something if if you're going on like an eight-day hike, you eat this before. Oh, yeah. And you'll be good for about 12 days. Look at all that. You got the chili. Look at the eggs go all the way down the whole plate. Sausage, tomatoes, mushrooms, ham. Look at this. Is that brisket? Yeah. Of course, because oh why not? Why not throw brisket into it? Six look at omelet. the size of this cheeseburger. Deanna would not be able to contain herself if she saw this fried zucchini. That is an old school, like mom and pop burger. Lobster. Look at this, the cut bacon Crab. on it. Okay. I am going to take a bite of this. This will be one of those moments in time where I'll never forget. That is so good. Look at that. Pumpkin banana bread and banana. Yeah, Put one out in out. here. One oh, man. And one off. I'm breaking rules and going for it right now. Oh, wow. I remember this is like one of these oh. foods that I remember as a little kid eating. Banana bread. That banana bread is literally the best banana bread. All right, we're going to dig in. I'm gonna get real weird with this food, so let's cut these cameras. Yeah. And... You don't want to see what's about to happen in here. We filmed this segment months ago, but re-watching it now, damn, I want some omelet house. Job well done. That was perfect start to the day. Beautiful weather. Let's get to it. 
After eating 47,000 calories in eggs, we figured we might need a little pep in our step. Let's go get some coffee with John and JJ, who run Grouchy John's Coffee, which is becoming a famous establishment in the Vegas coffee scene. We ordered it inside already, saw your guys' super elaborate, fun menu. I got the Evil Monkey. Well, the Evil Monkey was a concoction from stemming out of another drink called the Curious George. So when we started, we were on the mobile trailer, and we did an event where it was Curious George's 50th anniversary or whatever. We did a drink for him, which was a honey and banana drink. And then we were inspired to do, someone wanted a, a different one, but with just chai and banana. And that came across. So a lot of our drinks are customer okay. inspired. A lot oh, of them. that's really yeah, neat. That's where the OG came from. That's where the Jedi and the Sith came from. Those are all customers who came in. Drinky. We locally source our coffee and our tea that we serve. It just there's something special about that. It tastes a lot better. Even the best brands, the best types of coffee that we've had shipped to us, it loses something in the packaging and shipping process. What about the name of this place and how uh, it came to fruition? <laughs> it just itself. Well, this is, this yeah. is John. This is Grouchy John. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to go into coffee business. I was just here to help out. And uh, he had a bunch of different names uh, for the business. And he was sitting around, we were at a family dinner, and he was reading off these names. And they were just not going off very well. <laughs> and so I just blurt out, because he was getting more and more grumpy. I was like, we should just call it Grouchy John. And there was silence. And then everyone was laughing yeah. after that. And that was, that was it. Cool, check Thank out you guys so much. Grouchy yeah. John's coffee. It's worth the trip. A few locations. I recommend the Evil Monkey. <laughs> great. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So there you go. You got your eggs. You got your coffee. Now I think collectively, we all should probably go take a nap. If you like what you see, please follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll Venmo you a beer. All right, cut.